Today we want to see how we can find the critical point or points and classify them given that the function made up of t is equal to 10 te uh, to the power 3 minus t. So if you are told to find the critical point or points, the first thing that you need to do is uh, you try to find the derivative. Then at the critical points, the derivative is equal to 0. So the first thing that we need to do is find the derivative or differentiate the given function then equate it to zero and find the value for t that would be the critical point or critical points so let me just do that uh, so we have the function h function of t is equal to 10 t e 3 minus t okay so here we have uh, two functions we are multiplying two functions so i can say let this be u and let this be v okay so the derivative or different differentiation of u is equal to uh, 10 and differentiation of this one is equal to uh, v prime is equal to when i try to differentiate the function v i'll get e 3 minus t multiplied by negative 1 which will be negative e uh, 3 minus t. Now, I'm going to use what we call product rule. So, dh over dt is equal to uh, v du or v u prime plus u v prime. Okay? So, we know the function v. The function v is that one. I'll write it here. E minus t then I'll multiply with uh, the derivative of u uh, which is 10 then I'll add what is the function u it's uh, 10t then I'll multiply with the derivative of v which is uh, e uh, negative e to the power 3 minus t so at this point I can simplify this would be 10 e 3 minus t minus 10 t e 3 minus t. So as you can see, uh, 10 e 3 minus t is common. So I can factor it out. 10 e 3 minus t. I'll remain with 1 minus t. Now, at the critical point or critical points, dh over dt is equal to 0. So I can equate this to 0 and solve. Now when you look at this, this will never be 0. So the only thing that is 0 is this one. Okay? 1 minus t is equal to 0. So I can equate uh, that to 0 because this will never be 0. Okay? So I can come here. So what I'll have is uh, 0 is equal to 1 minus t which will give me t is equal to 1. Now, I need to replace 1 in this statement to find h, okay? So, I know that h of 1 is equal to 10 multiplied by 1, then e to the power 3 minus 1, which will be 10 e to the power 2. So, the point at which we have the critical point, it's so the critical point we can see it's at uh, 1 comma 10 e to the power 2 so now for us to test if this is a maximum minimum or subtle point we need to find the second derivative so we calculated our first derivative and it was this one so i can name this one to be u this function to be u and that function to be v so what i'm going to do is i'm going to find u prime which is the derivative of u which will be negative uh, 10 e to the power 3 minus t using chain rule. I will differentiate this one, then differentiate the power, which is the one that is giving us a negative here. Then when we differentiate v, we get this one. Again, here we are going to use product rule because we are multiplying two functions, u and v. So what I'm going to, to do is uh, the derivative is equal to v u prime plus u v prime 
So what is the function V? The function V is um, 1 minus T. Then what is this one? This is negative 10 E3 minus T. Plus, what is U? The function U is 10 E3 minus T. And what is uh, V? V prime is negative 1. Okay. So here I can factor out negative uh, or I can just simplify here. So we are going to have 1 minus t minus here then 10 e3 minus t minus 10 e3 minus t. So this will be our second derivative. Okay. So this will be our second derivative. Now for us to test, we need to put wherever there is t, we put 1, so that we test if this is the maximum, minimum, or saddle point. So I'm going to put a 1 here, a 1 there, and a 1 there, so that I test. If I get a, a, a negative, it will mean this point is a maximum. That point, that particular critical point, will be a maximum. If the answer that I'm going to get, if I put a 1 there, is positive then that will mean that is a minimum if i get a zero it will mean it's a saddle point this process is called the second derivative test okay now if i put a one here one minus one i'll get a zero so this whole thing will be zero i will remain with uh, so h one is equal to i will remain with this one negative ten uh, e to the power 3 minus 1 we get 2 now when you look at this one you can see that this one it's a negative so actually this critical point is a maximum turning point okay so our critical point is a maximum so this is how you find the critical point and classify them okay the first thing that you need to do is uh, differentiate equate to 0 find the critical point then to classify them you need to do a second derivative test if you find a negative it will mean it's a maximum if you find a positive it will mean it's a minimum but if you find a zero it will mean it's a saddle point thank you very much for joining me for this and more videos subscribe to my youtube channel thank you